what's up welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome 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 so today we're gonna be doing a review on this wig that i have on right here right now but before we hop into the video please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel i mean you cannot leave here today without subscribing so please do me that solid and while you add it you might as well just give the video a thumbs up feel me yes so Let's hop right into it. Okay, so let me do a quick little explanation. Normally, I do like a little demo of me like taking the wig out the box, cutting the lace off, and doing whatever little uh, styling that I do to the wig. However, I've been wearing this wig a lot and I was supposed to film a review video for it while I was on vacation. That's what I bought the wig for. And I just never really had time to do it. I had to bring my equipment and everything and Listen, I just did not find the time to be able to do it. It was my husband's birthday. So, you know, we were spending QT and all that. And I didn't really have time to film it. Um, and so, yeah. There's no footage of me, like, taking it out the box and styling it or anything like that. But the good thing is this wig came with no, like, lace to cut off or anything like that. So, it wasn't really much to do. So, you didn't really miss anything. But... Um, now that I got that out the way, I'm going to jump right into the wig. And this is going to be um, pretty quick because there's not really much to say about it. Um, but this is the wig um, from the Sheer Muse line from Sensation Sensational. And it is the style Lucia. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Lucia. And, and it's in a color 1B. This is what the stock car look like. It is curling iron safe it says that this is 100 percent premium fiber um this is what like came with it as well like it has like all of the colors and stuff that it come in um i feel like this dark ash blonde ombre would be really cute um and even the medium ash blonde ombre like all of these ash blondes look like they would look really nice um but i just wanted something really simple like i envision my looks like if you don't follow me on Instagram, do that. But um, I envisioned the looks with the bob. And I was on the hunt for a bob. I literally was looking at so many different bob wigs. And this one just seemed like it would be it for me. I didn't realize that this was a lace part wig and not a lace front wig. Because um, I just didn't really pay attention to that detail. I just was looking at like what it looked like. Because I wanted something that was like just short enough not too long not too too short um so i didn't really pay attention to that but this is a lace part wig it does not have a lace front um it does have two combs in the front a comb in the back and adjustable straps and the parting is about this deep so it's about like maybe four and a half to five inches deep and um, to be honest i really didn't have to do much to this wig like when it comes to plucking or anything like that i literally just added some powder to the part and then i kept it pushing like i said it doesn't have a lace front or anything like that so you don't have to cut any lace off um i do have a problem with these types of wigs only because i feel like it's a little bit harder for the front part to blend because it's track right here and then it's like the lace part so it is a little bit on the bulky side so it's not as natural or realistic as i would like however it's not like a major 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 problem but if i could have it my way this would be a lace front wig instead of a lace part wig but it got the job done like i said it is a really 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 cute like edgy everyday kind of wig um i knew that this wig was gonna last me a long time because it's short and it doesn't really like require much so that's really really good that's one thing that i love about shorter wigs i always think to myself like any wig that you want to last you like you know for a long time or you want to be able to wear it multiple times throughout the week or the month or whatever i think that it should be short for one and then it is ideal if it has some sort of texture because i feel like they texture shorter wigs are more disguisable like when they look old or when they start to get more brittle or matty or whatever like when they are shorter and they have texture it's not really that notice noticeable but what slow down i'm really trying to speed through this video <laughs> that's why i got stuff to do girl i'm so tired as well like i have another video to film and i'm tired but let me stop talking like twister and let me calm down 
But when it's short and it doesn't really have any texture, I feel like it is not gonna last as long as short with texture. However, it will last you a nice amount of time. Um, um, one thing that I don't like about this wig is it does have those ridges in it that I can't stand. And I'm pretty sure, well, I don't know. Let me know if you care about like the ridges in the, in the hair. Cause maybe people don't care, but I know I care. I feel like it's a day giveaway that you have a synthetic wig, but you have those ridges in your hair cause human hair doesn't have that. So it's just like, mm, like that be kind of blowing me a little bit, but, um, like I said, the wig got the job done and it's really, really cute and I love the cut of this. But yeah, it is short, so, you know, not much of any tangling um, and not much of any shedding either. Like I'm not, like I said, I'm not really, it's not really much to run my fingers through to get any shedding. Um, and I did have this wig on for a number of days, like back to back to back um, and she still look good. Now I'll show you the back, but keep in mind, I have a very bulky ponytail back here. So she might look a little crazy, but this regard, I just want to show you what the back looks like. And it probably won't look the same. Um, but I'll also try to include some pictures of like when I wore it on vacation, but um, I'll show you the back. My, like, I didn't really, like, lay my edges like how I normally would because, like I said, I got another video to film, which I was actually in the process of filming, and then I realized that I forgot to film this video for this week, so, hmm, hectic Saturday. But, um, I mean, you get the gist of what it would look like if I really had, like, laid my edges down like how I normally do, because y'all know I leave my own edges out, I don't, like, um bring any edges down from the wig i just place it behind my hairline and call it a day this wig is big head friendly because when i tell you i have stuff going on under here like a lot going on under here and the wig is still on and it still looks nice and i don't think that you will be able to tell that i had a lot going on under here if i didn't tell you i mean if i turn to the back you probably will be able to tell because it's a huge hump in the back of my head. But you know, straight on, you can't really tell, right? And to be honest, y'all, that's pretty much it. Like, it's a bob wig, so it's not really much to say. I mean, what you see is what you get, really and truly. And we all know bob wigs, like I said, last a long time. Um, Much longer than like longer units. So that's pretty much it. Please make sure to drop that in the comments and let me know what you think about the wig. If you have it, if you tried her, if you were interested in her, let me know. I want to know what you think. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Do not forget to do that. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I would really appreciate that. I mean, you can't get to the end of the vid and not subscribe. I mean, come on. Um, So, do me that solid. And, yeah, enjoy the rest of your week, your weekend, whatever it may be. Peace and blessings.